Hi there, I'm Whitney with Green Acres Nursery and Supply and today I'm showing you how to go from seed to bouquet in a few simple steps. All right, so what we need to do this project starting off is a container. Um, you'll need some seed, shovel, sure start, and then potting soil. So when you're thinking about your seeds, you wanna take in consideration sunlight and water use. I've chosen seeds today that can all handle full sun and similar water use, so they're gonna be happy in the container together. And you'll also wanna consider the seed depth when you're planting them. So you don't wanna to plant too far. And fortunately, the instructions are on the back of all the seed containers. It tells you when, how deep, time of year, and then how long it will take to germinate. After choosing your seeds, the first thing I'm gonna do is fill my container with potting soil. You wanna make sure you're using potting soil. It has really well draining molecules as well as moisture retention. So that's gonna keep your plants healthy. They'll be able to drain, but also be able to drink some water. I wanna fill it all the way to the top. Next step is taking the seeds. I'm gonna take my tallest seeds and put them towards the back of the container. You can do two different things. You can either go tallest in the center, kind of go out. I want mine to be against a wall, so I'm gonna do the back tall and the front short. I'm going to add a little bit of Sure Start to keep my seeds well fed after they start to germinate. I wanna use just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I just do a sprinkle, and then we wanna mix it into the soil. Just the top layer, you don't have to mix it all the way down. So I chose to start with my sunflower. Um, he's kind of the largest one, so I go from largest to smallest when I'm planting. It just helps me to stay organized. The seed packet has a bunch of seeds. Right now, we're just planting one container. I do recommend planting at least two seeds. That way, if one doesn't germinate, you have an opportunity to have another. They're such small seeds that you just place them on the soil. Again, the seed packet will tell you how far to plant them down, and the seed depth for this one is three centimeters, so not very much. We're gonna come back over afterwards and put a layer of soil. That way, we're not going too deep. We're just putting a light layer of soil on top. Once you've planted the seed and it's germinated, you will have potentially two plants. You want to snip off the top leaves of the one that is smaller, that way you're the allowing room for the sprouts to grow. The celosia is a great plant for color and for height and a little bit of extra greenery. So it's not necessarily a big, beautiful flower, but it adds tons of color and some texture to your bouquet. These seeds are super tiny. So again, we're not even pushing them in. We're just gonna place them right on top. My favorite is the basil. Again, it gives beautiful color, but the smell is just wonderful inside your home, and it's edible. You can always pick off the leaves and use them for dinner. Again, since these are so small, I'm just gonna sprinkle them. And when they sprout, that's when I'm gonna do my spacing. So there'll be a few in a row, and I take the ones in between, and I just pinch them. I don't pull them. If you pull them, you are going to disturb the roots. So you just wanna pinch off the top leaves. It won't have its little solar panels anymore and the other ones will be free to grow themselves. These are zinnia seeds. These are a little larger. So we're gonna place them a little deeper in the soil. And these are short and they're gonna go in the front. They're gonna be our accent flowers. A little deeper in the soil. And these are short and they're gonna go in the front. They're gonna be our accent flowers. And these seeds are very light and tiny. I'm just gonna shake them. So each seed is gonna have a different shape, a different size, and you're gonna have to change the depth and the amount that you put into the soil, depending on the seed. And it really does have all the instructions on planting, so it is easily explained for you. The second to last step is just to sprinkle a light dusting of soil on top. That way your seeds will still have access to light and heat 
and be happy little seeds. And finally, last step, gotta water them in. Light watering, you don't want those seeds to swim away. So you just do a little light watering, keep the soil moist, and you'll have happy, healthy seeds. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please visit any of our locations. And happy planting and happy spring.